Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the Museum of Discovery Science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West Adventurous Kids. Learning and fun. Adventurous Kids! Today, I'm going to tell you about refrigerators. So, refrigerators, or refrigeration, has been around since 1700 BCE, right? They used to find what are called ice houses in what's now known as the Fertile Crescent. Also, there were ice pits in China in 700 BC. Ice storage houses were common until 1756. Basically, as long as people have been eating food, we've had a need to keep it cool or to cool down our drinks, right? There's always been a need for this. In 1748, Scottish physician William Cullen demonstrated what we know as the cooling effect by evaporating liquid into a gas. However, this method did not go into use, but it was a stepping stone to what would later happen with American inventor Jacob Perkins in 1834. He patented the first ever vapor compression system, which was inspired by that 1748 system, right? Again, the vapor compression system consists of taking liquid, turning it into a gas, that's the vapor, and compressing it. In 1913, American Fred W. Wolf will invent the first home electric refrigerator. In 1923, Frigere would be the first to introduce the self-contained refrigerator, which would have the freezer with it. In the 1940s, freezers were introduced as a separate component, right? And a vapor compression cycle is what is used in most household refrigerators today. So a little bit about how the refrigerator works. The compressor, right? So gas at low pressure and low temperature enters the compressor. The gas is compressed to a higher pressure and its temperature rises just like a bicycle pump which gets warmer by pumping up the tire. This uses electricity. What I think that means, so when you compress the gas, you're making the temperature rise. And then the condenser comes in, and that's what's gonna cool it back down. So the condenser is the hot gas is then transferred to a condenser where the heat is removed and the gas begins to condense into a liquid. So when you take that gas and condense it back into a liquid, put it through a ventilation, what are ventilation fins? So ventilation fins, the heat is released via cooling fins on the back of the fridge unit. And then it goes to the expansion valve. This is very technical. The liquid then goes through an expansion device where its pressure is suddenly lowered. It expands and some of the liquid turns very quickly to a vapor. This change of state has a cooling effect. So what I do know about when you go from different states of matter, right? You have solids, liquids, gases, and then there's also plasmas, but that's a different story. When you move from the different states, from a solid to a liquid to a gas, or backwards, right? You are either heating up or cooling down. So what it seems like is that refrigerators run on a system of taking water and heating it up, making it into a vapor, and then condensing it and cooling it back down into a liquid so that it reaches these very cold, very frigid temperature, frigid, huh, for fridge, frigid temperatures, right? And that's what keeps your refrigerator cold. There is this picture. Thank you for watching this episode of Adventurous Kids. What did you learn today? Adventurous Kids. Adventurous Kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous Kids. Adventurous kids! Adventurous kids!